DX Daily Weekend Edition, Friday 10-2. I'm Justin Hunt, hashtag it's all happening. Up first, here's an update on the Blockbuster Mega Upload copyright infringement case. Kim.com, the eccentric founder of the super popular file sharing site, is currently in the midst of an extradition trial in New Zealand stemming from the U.S. Department of Justice's indictment for violating the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA. Basically, they stole a bunch of digital shit. Prosecutors allege that Kim.com and the other mega upload staffers did nothing to remove copyrighted material, movies, music, etc. from their servers, costing Hollywood hundreds of millions of dollars. One anecdote presented by lead prosecutor Christine Gordon alleges that Mega Upload paid one user named TH $50,000 after his uploads generated more than 18 million page views for Mega Upload, allowing them to generate $112,000 in premium subscription sales. The Verge reports, according to the DOJ, Mega Upload during its seven-year existence generated $25 million in total ad sales and $150 million from selling subscriptions to its premium services. Again, the trial currently underway is to determine whether Kim.com will be extradited to the U.S. for a pending showdown in court with the MPAA and the RIAA. That case has been pushed to 2016. Sincerely, this was a huge intellectual property case in 2012. The DOJ launched a fantastic raid on Kim.com's estate, which flooded the internet three years ago. Ironically, all that went down just two months after Mega Upload released its official Will I Am featured theme song. Remember this one? When I got files across the globe. I love Mega Upload. I love Mega Upload. Yeah, I like Mega Upload. M-E-G-A, upload to me today. Send me a file. Mega Upload. Mega. Mega Upload. Hey, yeah. That's a good song. Look, after Napster, Mega Upload was the best file sharing pirating site ever. The actually keep you posted on the story as it continues to develop. Next. Eagles frontman Don Henley expressed his dislike for modern music creation this week. During an interview with The Guardian, Henley blasted Frank Ocean for sampling his song Hotel California on his 2011 release, Nostalgia Ultra. Some of these young kids have grown up in a world that doesn't understand or respect copyright material or intellectual property. They look at songs as interactive playthings. Now, Henley also describes Frank Ocean as a talentless little prick. And then when The Guardian asked him if he would still be upset if Kanye West had been the one to sample his song, Henley said, quote, I'd still be just as pissed off. I don't like him either. Zing. All right, here's one more. This week, Watch Loud published an editorial titled, Why 360 Deals Aren't As Evil As You Think They Are. The article celebrates the upside to the controversial deal that allows record labels to receive a piece of revenue from all earnings generated by an artist. Touring, merchandising, sponsorships, you name it. It also cites Lupe Fiasco as an example of how labels can use the deal as a weapon against artists who refuse to sign over a percentage of all of their earnings. Here's Watch Loud. The reason Atlantic did that to Lupe was because they have to justify their investment in an artist with a 360 deal. Album sales are non-existent, so music, in a sense, becomes part of the marketing budget. That's why 360 deals usually come with big advances. Now, Lupe also explained on Twitter that he didn't sign a 360 deal with Atlantic Records because Lee or Cohen wouldn't promise his masters as collateral in case the company couldn't meet their obligations. He also said, the dark side of it is that when I didn't sign a 360 deal, they refused to honor the terms of my original deal and basically tried to destroy my career on all levels in the process. The game is called middlemanship. Labels need and want brand money just as much as artists do. Always remember this dynamic. Labels absolutely need artists. Artists just want to be with labels. Rules to rule. Artists, fans. Artists, fans. Other than that, what else really matters? Well said, Lou. That's this week's DX Daily Weekend Edition. Agree with us, disagree with us, but let us know what you think about it in the comments section. I'm Justin Hunt. Follow me on IG at The Company Man. And as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.